it be possible that a town is not testing its safety sensitive lifeguards in police department? It looks like it's the case. Cases, if we stop testing right now, we'd have very few cases, if any. One town is doing it well as an example for how it needs to be done in testing. The Rehoboth lifeguard captain, he lost half his lifeguard to COVID right before the fourth. He knew, he reacted, any of us would want to react at our best, and that is, he went and started a COVID testing program with the local hospital, made sure the lifeguards had quarantine, got the job done, and the public's a whole life be more safe. The adjoining cap no supervisory testing at all. People, if we didn't do any testing, we would have very few cases. Testing does not cause cases. Testing reveals positives. According to this Delaware Online article, each captain told the reporter that he's not giving those numbers, which you're required to do by even the very mild CDC guidelines is report those cases identify the outbreaks so i said to my people slow the testing down please the key here is the lifeguard captain in rehoboth did what could be called best practices if not establishing them himself lifeguards of course are in direct contact with the public what's the big picture here the total lack of compliance by this town the nearby towns are testing, are quarantining, are doing what's necessary. Let's go ask the town council to look into this. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Based on some articles, Delaware Online uh, and the Henny Report, here we're in the middle of a pandemic, and it appears that the lifeguards department and the police department are not running a supervisory testing program on their own for COVID. Let me just point out on safety sensitive, employees are required to have testing programs. Lifeguards, according to the National Lifeguard Association, as well as general mandates and CDC, are a high risk category. So to inquire whether or not that is being done and to have you all look into it. One other point is that it was in a Delaware online article it quoted a Mr. Todd Frickman as saying, I won't tell you to the reporter. You're not going to get that from me, is what he said. So again, this isn't about the lifeguards. This is about the leadership of the lifeguards. That is very much in question. On to call the reporter back and say he's had zero positives. Well, Rehoboth has approximately the same number of lifeguards, according to that article and others. 40 to 60. They've had 15 positives. Rehoboth has acted very responsibly. Chief Banks, they've quarantined those who have tested positive. Very much the question how they could have 60 lifeguards and zero positive tests. It's not mathematically impossible, but it's improbable. It appears, without being conclusory, that the testing program is being done as a don't test, don't, don't tell, as it was characterized the Trump administration. So we don't need that kind of attitude, I don't think, in Dewey, because that just is not uh, just out of fashion, but not healthy and not safe. We want to be sure that the police are also testing, because as you know from the recent report, there were some disciplinary issues there. But so far, with all the other towns reporting positive, both the police and both the lifeguards of Dewey Beach have zero positive, zero reports, zero quarantine. I'll leave it at that and let everybody else to come up with a potential solution, which is obviously to have the town run a test, testing program. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Mr. Smith, I thank you for your comments. I appreciate it. are those that say you can test too much you do know that who says that oh 
Just read the manuals, read the books. Manuals? Read the what books. Manuals? Read the books. What books? What testing does? Who, no, I'm sorry.